it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do an update for Capricorn this is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus and this is for July so I haven't done one for you yet for July other than the Saturn retrograde reading um, which I did do which is the uh, June 30th through November 15th aspect which you may want to watch because you know it is Saturn and uh, I believe that you are ruled by Saturn so it's definitely applicable to you um, it's a four and a half month month transit that's the only one I've done for you yet for July I've just been busy 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 and maybe you have been too but anyway you're up now so what do we have for Capricorn thank you for your patience thank you for being here yeah so what do we have for Capricorn July. Ooh, this one came out, came flying out, and it is upright. Solid foundation, success with effort. So it is tower. So maybe something, maybe something is being fixed. Maybe you're building a solid foundation. Hard work is paying off. This, I feel like this is the uh, building process. Um, putting in a lot of effort to bring stability and security in your life. I think that's your main focus right now is long-term security. Your main focus is building your foundation, maybe building it back up, so making something more secure. So I think that's your main focus in July. Maybe your home, maybe your body, maybe everything. This one came out sideways. Pig, re beware of greed. So I think that greed is probably part of this. Maybe you're, you're uh, letting go of greedy people in your life. Maybe you've been greedy. Maybe you're uh, looking at things differently than you have in the past. Maybe you're getting rid of things. Maybe you're choosing to have less. Maybe you're giving more to others. Maybe you're realizing something about yourself and other people. I think greed is a big focus. All right. Now, there could be somebody around you that is very greedy. Okay. That is after something that you have. Maybe they see that you have some sort of something solid or secure. You've secured something and, you know, they want it. So you'd have to beware of greed within yourself and from other people. Now, a solid foundation is about security. Protect yourself is what I'm trying to say. Okay? Beware of greed. Beware of scams. Okay? Beware, beware of thieves. Beware of people trying to take credit for your work. If you're doing that, beware. Beware of greed. That is a strong message. I'm not saying that you are, but I'm, I'm reading the card. I don't... I don't I don't know what anybody's really doing. I'm giving you guys readings, okay? And some may resonate and some may not. This is such a large group of people. I wouldn't know who it resonates and who it doesn't, right? Um, what else? Ooh, this one came out flying as well. So strong, strong, strong messages. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. And beware of greed. And it's interesting, I just barely got done beware of scams, right? Artificial intelligence, that's a big deal as well. Um, solid foundation, success with effort. There is danger. So, and that's teeth. Somebody's after your security after your stability after your money maybe something that you built or that you're building it may have something to do with banks as well what else What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, hurricane season ahead. Now, hurricane season ahead is typically a tower moment, and that is a tarot card tower moment. Okay, this is a sudden change. Expect the unexpected. Hurricanes are storms that come in, 
very fast, okay, and they can change your direction in a hurry. It can be a dangerous situation. There is, I mean, you definitely need, this is like batting down the hatches, right? When a hurricane is coming, you know, you need to secure yourself. Get yourself to safety, right? Either you can stay and ride out the storm and hope for the best, or you can, you know, get go someplace else where it's safer, where you're out of harm's way. So this is interesting. Be prepared. That is a warning sign. And we have warning a couple times. Beware of greed, danger, especially in money matters. This may have to do with your bank, your foundations, your job, your work. Hurricane season ahead. Get prepared. Okay, because hurricanes can change everything in an instant. The stormy weather. Oh, 666. Six is the journey to balance and harmony. Okay, this is movement. And literally, this is moving. This is the, <clears throat> excuse me, rite of passage. This is about getting your life back on track. This is a spiritual wake-up call. This is also being very materialistically focused. Okay, maybe you need to let go of some things that are costing you. Okay, balance and peace and harmony doesn't come from things. It doesn't come from things. <clears throat> maybe you're trying too hard to, you know, have materialistic things when you should be focusing, you know... I, I, what I want, what I just heard was the journey within. This is a spiritual wake up call. It's time to get, and this is a spiritual wake up call. It's time to get your life back on track. It's a time of transition. Um, there's a hurricane coming that is going to move you. And that is literally move you probably in a new direction. Sixes are literally moving in a new direction. Now sixes represent memories. They represent success. They represent the lovers as well. This is unexpected. Unexpected. Okay? So there's something unexpected that is happening. Expect the unexpected. This has to do with maybe your partnerships. This could have something to do with a contract. This may have something to do with um, family even. You may be getting some sort of recognition. And it's interesting because you think of the Six of Wands, that is success with effort. This is you this is getting recognized for something. You may be getting some recognition. But there's some sort of decision that is being made and there's greed in here too. Six of Pentacles is rec recognition and reward. And the Six of Wands is recognition as well. So there is recognition that is coming. You may be getting some sort of recognition or you, I don't know, for some of you, the Six of Wands, like that, that that's in the spotlight. The something from the past could be resurfacing as well, good or bad. Beware of greed, danger, especially in money matters. Prepare yourself because there's a storm ruin that is going to, it feels like it's a push. It pushes you. Get moving. <clears throat> Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, it does often represent death. Okay, and death is profound life change. And typically the tower in the tarot is a Scorpio energy. And this is, can represent the phoenix rising from the ashes as well. Now something could be happening as well that stings. Okay, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. There's going to be some turbulent changes that push, okay, push. Maybe push somebody to their limits or push somebody uh, to make a decision about a contract. Now, it could be toxic. There could be a toxic contract here. Hurricanes are disruptive. So I would say prepare yourself for some sort of disruption. Somebody may be hiding, okay, because Scorpios or Scorpions typically hide, right?
Ooh, secret admirer. So there's a secret admirer here. We have a gift. We have a gift. We have somebody that's hiding behind a mask. Okay, so there's a secret admirer here. I would say get prepared because it feels like there's about to be some turbulence. Okay, something is happening that is disruptive, may shake up your foundation, may cause some sudden movement. There could be a sudden change in a contract or a partnership or a union or a living situation. You could be receiving a gift. Somebody may have been hiding behind the mask or hiding. I said it before the card came out with, you know, somebody's hiding. Something is hiding, okay? But danger. We have danger and beware. Beware of greed. Solid foundation. Success with effort. Hmm. What else do we have for Capricorn? Overall energy for Capricorn. Please, my nose. Overall energy for Capricorn. It's time to get moving. Teach. This is the Hierophant. So we have a teacher here. The Hierophant is a higher power as well. Often represents, you know, a direct connection to God. A need to believe in yourself. Listen, okay? Listen. We have a teacher here. We have a teacher here. You need to listen. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. Listen to what is being said. Really, really, really pay attention. Okay, you may be receiving some guidance or information from somebody that has a lot of experience or has a lot of knowledge as well. There's a, there's a higher power involved. This often represents, you know, the higher power. So... Believe in yourself. Listen. Get prepared. Prepare yourself. You're about to receive some knowledge or some information or uh, guidance, okay, that may move you because those sixes are movement. There's something about commitment here. Really listen. Listen, listen. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition in regards to this situation. Some of you may have a divine connection to God. There's a need to have faith and believe as well. So that's something that you need to hear. You're being divinely guided. Whatever is happening, the universe is at work. Okay, the universe is at work. You're about to see some movement. Okay, there's a higher power involved. Okay, that is assisting put it that way let's get one of these some of you may be becoming a teacher or you're receiving some assistance uh, from a teacher somebody that you look up to or you're going to be giving ex assistance to others make sure that you are teachable okay really listen pay attention Ace of Cups, a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter or a new home. So you have the Ace of Cups here, beautiful new emotional experience. And there's divine guidance here or divine intervention. Just listen, pay attention. It feels like there's a story here. In the, in the sixes, this can be a soulmate connection. There could be a new union. There could be a reconciliation. I don't know what it is. But anyway, there's going to be disruption and turbulence. Maybe in your living situation, your security, your stability, your foundation. There's going to be a change. I know that there is. Somebody is hiding their feelings or they're hiding how they feel. I don't know. There's going to be an expression. It feels like there's an expression here. Maybe there's a gift or there's a message. 
a love letter or a new home. Maybe somebody has learned something. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is a new truth. It's a new information. It's a new idea. It's communication. It's direct communication. Either it's with the divine or it's with another person. This is, this is taking a new approach, new clarity. This is clarity. Receiving some sort of news, information, or clarity. This is a new beginning. The new beginning in love or whatever is happening. Okay, the universe is at work. Get prepared. Okay, life is about to change. For some, there's a severing of ties in regards to a contract that leads to a new beginning. So, however that resonates with you. We have new information. We even have signing something. I don't know what the signing is, but there could be a signing going on. Solid foundation, success with effort. There's direct communication. We have somebody here that has learned something. There's a major disruption. We have an expression. We have a new opportunity here. Um, there's something that is hidden that is probably coming out. I think there's some sort of direct communication or direct change. Chariot reverse. Now somebody could be returning to something, going back to something. There's been a lack of discipline, a lack of determination. We have somebody here that has been scattered all over the place. Um, this is like a dead end, not going anywhere. Stuck on the past. We have somebody here that is struggling to move forward. And they may be watching you from behind the scenes, watching from afar, not doing anything. Maybe they are afraid. Maybe they're afraid. I don't know. I would say be prepared. Be prepared for a change. And this change is, is very disruptive maybe to your life but it is whatever is happening is divinely guided there is an offering here so i feel like there's a communication there's clarity there's an offering um a romantic relationship or deep friendship after much delay Ten of Wands reverse. Ten of Wands reverse is someone that is letting go of something this is a release making a conscious change um Letting go of what they've been holding on to. Now, this may be a breakthrough. Maybe we have somebody here that is all done uh, trying to prove themselves, all done holding on to something. They've been extremely overwhelmed, you know, trying to make something work. Maybe they're just giving up. This is on the road to balance. This is definitely on the road to balance. Okay, letting go of a heavy burden, a lot of emotional baggage. Uh, there's been some sort of dead weight or dead end. This is it. This is it. This is a release and this is freedom. This is freedom. We have somebody here that has been really struggling to take charge. They've been um, carrying a lot. Maybe it's heavy weight. They've been carrying, holding something, trying to maybe fulfill an obligation or prove themselves or I mean and I see fear there's fear fear of letting go fear of opening up fear of expressing feelings fear of maybe even commitment because the Hierophant often represents commitment fear of listening to the intuition or following the heart or whatever it is um and maybe for some of you this is you okay the chariot reversed is like not going anywhere. There could be an outburst here. We may have somebody here that I feel like there's a sudden, extremely sudden change. It's interesting. Knight of Cups on the bottom. This is an expression. This is somebody that is acting on their feelings, following their heart, um, either offering emotional support or, you know, this could be a proposal, an offer, an invite, somebody that is flirting that is courting you, that is looking for a relationship, looking for love, that kind of thing. Um, danger, especially in money matters. Beware of greed. Be Prepare yourself. Listen to your gut. You will receive the clarity that you need. You will receive the answer that you need. It's time to open your heart. Let go of your fears. 
Boy, that came out easy now, didn't it? Let go of your fears, okay? Hmm. Let's get one of these for you. What do we have for Capricorn? One message for Capricorn, please. An offer is coming or information is coming. Information, news, message, an offer, proposal is coming that um, you've been waiting for, maybe? Oh. <laughs> Hurricane. I can't make this shit up for any reason whatsoever. Hurricane centered. Eye of the storm, huh? Wow, that is crazy shit. You've been through a very stormy period in your life. Maybe it's already happened. Through prayer, in your own extraordinary inner strength, you've survived the severe tests you've been through. You've had enough now. It's time to enter the eye of the storm and relish the calm that is so necessary to help you recover. You may still feel jittery and unsettled, so give yourself time and space, setting boundaries as necessary to protect your peace. <laughs> I said it at the beginning with the security. Setting boundaries as necessary to protect your peace. Having journeyed through the storm, you've developed further survival skills as well as an increased faith in spirit in the guidance you receive. As you continue to center yourself by aligning your will with the will of spirit, you are ready and able to deal with any other storms that head your way. If you forget that fact, take a walk in nature you'll be reminded that no matter whatever intensities life presents to you, you can always find your center. So this may be the eye of the storm. Give yourself time and space, setting boundaries as necessary to protect your peace. Your life is changing. This is a transformation. Breaking free. There's a freedom here with the Ten of Wands reverse. So this is definitely a major life change. Maybe some of you have learned a lesson about greed or about money or about security. Or about love. For some of you, there's a new commitment here and something unexpected could happen. And this, I mean, whatever this is, I mean, <sighs> Hierophant can re represent marriage and those sixes can represent soulmate connections. Good luck. 